Okay, I've decided to give myself a serious physical challenge. You beauty. As some of you may know, I have a friend, Axel, who has literally got the body of an Egyptian god. <laughs> He's been doing CrossFit for a while. So I've decided to do 30 days of CrossFit every single day to find out and see if CrossFit is all that it's built up to be. So without further ado, let this challenge begin. Okay, so I've just arrived at the CrossFit Wonderlust, which is where Axel goes for my first CrossFit training session. And I'm actually a little nervous because <laughs> Because I've never done CrossFit before and it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. What? But I feel like you're going to take me through a good training session, right? Yeah, you're going to die. I'm probably going to die. That's what I'm nervous about because I feel like it's going to be a lot harder than I expected. Every day for 30 days? Yeah. yeah, well, then you should be smart and don't train too hard. Yeah. I'll take care of you. Thank you so much. Brother. You're welcome. Brother. Let's do it. <laughs> so, but basically, this is what I look like, guys. This is the honest, this is not the Instagram filtered version. This is the body that I currently possess and in 30 days I hope to have a Greek god body like Axel behind the camera. <laughs> so, let's see how we go. Okay, so, as I began my first day of this challenge, there were a few things that I had to learn straight away. Number one, always warm up. This is so important, especially in CrossFit, because CrossFit can be very strenuous at times, and it is often quite technical, which means that without proper warm-up, you can easily pull a muscle or damage your body. Fortunately, I didn't have to learn this the hard way. I already kind of understood the importance of warming up the body before exercise. I'm really nervous. I don't think I've realized how hard it's gonna be, but um, it'll be a fun adventure. Let's begin. The music they play in this place is so, like, inspiring. <laughs> we usually start with a strength part, so um, we're going to start with that lift. So, do you know what emo means? Every minute on the minute? Hey, there you go. You're going to do five reps deadlifts with your body weight. Since you, What's your max for uh, one rep? 140. 140. Yeah, you should be able to do five reps body weight okay. every minute. So, let's say you need 10 seconds for uh, five deadlifts. Yeah. You have 50 seconds rest. Okay. You're going to do that with your body yeah, How was that? I feel like the worst is yet to come, but it was good. It was the warm up. Oh. <laughs> Although this may not have looked hard, I was dying. <laughs> Last minute, son. One more, finish one more. You have 40 seconds. Go ahead. I did five pull ups, 10 push ups, and 15 air squats continuously. As many sets as you could do in 10 minutes and it was exhausting. I recommend you give it a try. All right, hurry up. 10 seconds. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh man, they killed me. Good, wow. How many rounds, nine? nine and a half. Yeah, let's say eight. Minus all the no reps. <laughs> and so with that, I had finally completed my first CrossFit session. All right, that's the first session pretty much finished. Well, you can really see my bruising in this light, huh? Anyways, we're gonna cool down. I'm exhausted, that's tough, but actually really fun. I love feeling like that. Thank you so much, Axel, for taking me through that. Really appreciate it. He's over there, hopefully he watches this. Okay, so as I began my first day of CrossFit, it was wonderful to have Axel there to help me along and guide me on my technique the second thing I learned about CrossFit is that a typical CrossFit session is split into two components, strength and conditioning. The strength aspect is all about building your strength and power, and the conditioning is focused more on fitness, aerobic capacity and stamina. The third thing I had to learn was to start light, improve the technique and only then to add more weight. I used to try and go all in and see how heavy I could do straight away, but I learned through experience that the best way to get the most from each of my CrossFit sessions was to perfect the technique so that my body knew how to do the exercise, was comfortable and capable of the movement, and then when I was confident in my technique, adding more weight would be far more effective for me as my body would respond the right way and give myself the greatest chance of building my strength and fitness. 
The fourth thing I learned was go 100% hard in the conditioning, but only 90% in the strength. The reason for this is because you can recover relatively easily from conditioning training. You know, it doesn't leave you dead and sore the next day in bed. But if you go 100% every day in the strength component, you're often super sore and achy breaky the next day. And it means you don't get the most out of the CrossFit session the day after. And these were four lessons that I had to learn on my first day of CrossFit. All right, training. You can still hold your camera? Yeah. Get the fuck Just back to about. the gym. <laughs> training one is complete. And to be honest, I feel really good. Exhausted, but really good. And really looking forward to the next 29 Wait days. Wait until of... you wake up tomorrow and then you got to feel sore. Yeah. It's I true. Well, Thanks, I'm proud man. of you. I appreciate it. Okay, I decided to start day two off with asking the receptionists what they thought about my challenge. I'm doing myself a challenge. I'm gonna do 30 days of CrossFit every single day. Do you think that I will see much of a result after 30 days of CrossFit every day? Do you think I'll look very different or no? Healthy? I think you yeah, healthy. healthy. I knew it will look different. Yeah? Yeah. Thirty, like three zero. Oh, so yeah, one, one month. month, one month, every day. Every day. Oh yeah, I think. Yeah, I think so. You think I look better? Yeah. The foot as well, like. The... Yeah, I'll, I'll eat very healthy. Just, oh yeah, yeah. yeah I okay. You have to eat healthy. healthy. I'll eat healthy. Like Axel. Yeah, like Axel. Axel. And then I have a body like Axel. Oh yeah. 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 I, think so. I think now it's good, but it's you really look, good. You look oh. Axel before. Oh really? Axel has changed a lot? Yeah. Ah. That's good to know. That's good to know. Thank you guys. Yeah, I... And with that, it was time to start day two. It's the second day, right? You feel me? Yeah, day two. <laughs> day two. I don't know, I have no idea what this means, but uh, game on. Day two was really about adding to the knowledge that I already had and pushing myself to find my physical limits and see what my maximum lifts and my fastest times were. Oh, haven't felt this hard in a long time. Okay, we're just beginning day three of the 30 days of CrossFit and I feel really good this morning. I actually didn't go very hard last night on day two. I went pretty hard the first day and then Haxel reminded me that um, it's gonna be 30 long days and if I wanna make every single day like as efficient as possible, I probably shouldn't go too hard in the beginning. Needless to say, every single time I break a sweat and it's pretty exhausting. So with that in mind, let's go get day three underway. Yeah. Okay, day three. <laughs> so the beginning of day three, I'm feeling really well. It's a Sunday, so pretty much everyone's taking the day off. But for me, no days off, 30 days every single day. I'm doing this over New Year's Eve and Christmas Day, and I have to come in. I feel really good, feel really loose. And I can narrow it down to four key factors. Eating well and not eating too late at night, sleeping well and warming up and cooling down. I'm sure that in the long term, that's gonna really help me be, being able to be consistent for 30 days straight. Let's do it. And so I continued to train every single day. No matter if it was pissing down with rain, super early or super late, I would find a time to commit to another CrossFit session. And then I began to take part in the actual CrossFit classes that they offered at the gym. Which I haven't done yet, but um, they do classes every day and normally I've just been training with Axel, but I'm excited to see what it's gonna be like. And as each day passed, I learned more and more about this style of training to the point where I felt comfortable training on my own and still being able to push myself. And the more I learned, the more I felt like I was getting out of each session. But the interesting thing I began to realize was that it never actually got any easier. In fact, I'd say if anything, the sessions got harder and more intense. Fuck it. I'm exhausted. This is when I felt myself slowly becoming stronger and fitter. 
As I became more comfortable and familiar with the movements and techniques, I was able to increase the weights I would lift, shorten the time between sets, and become a little faster in the conditioning. So in essence, I was lifting more, resting less, and becoming faster with the fitness. I did it. Last time I did that, I only made about nine. This time, 10 minutes, 10 rounds. Okay, we've reached halfway. Day 15 of the 30 days of CrossFit. And I'm with Axel doing a, he's taking me through a training today. And it looks pretty brutal. Check this out. The following days, another interesting thing hit me. Life slowly started to take priority. I think the beginning couple of weeks, I was running off excitement and adrenaline. But as the weeks went by, it slowly started to feel like the trainings were beginning to take second place to the other things going on in my days. Although I was continuing to do CrossFit each day, I realized that I needed to change something in order to bring my focus back to the challenge and really make the most of the 30 days. So I decided to start training first thing each morning. And at first this was a challenge because as I'm sure you can imagine, Imagine waking up and thinking about destroying yourself at a CrossFit session was not a comfortable thought. But then slowly, I began feeling comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I actually started to look forward to waking up early. This brought all the focus back for me. And once again, I felt like I was really making the most of each day. I was working really hard the whole day and I was in like, I was in like one of those just tunnel vision focus work modes where like I didn't want to do anything but sit there and work and I was like doing really well and I was in a really good headspace for working. And then the day just flew by and it was and it's six o'clock and I missed the 4.30 class, which is the normal class I do if I'm if I if I do in the Arvo. So I was like, ah fuck, should I go? Should I just kind of take a day off? But then I realized if it's 30 days of CrossFit. I gotta do 30 days of CrossFit. And I remembered something my friend Axel says a lot, which is just three, two, one, go. Just do it. And you'll feel so much better afterwards. And I know that from experience. There's been countless times in my life where I've been like, oh, I don't wanna do it. Like, come on, it's just comfy and comfortable not going. And then I do it. And then as soon as I finish, I feel so much better. And I'm so grateful that I've done it. So I know that from experience. So I just counted three, two, one to myself, picked up the keys, went out the door and here I am. Let's go. And so the training went on each and every day. And each and every day, I got there feeling amazing and left feeling absolutely exhausted. A legless rope climb. Okay, day 25 of CrossFit. We've got five days to go. <laughs> Feeling really good. I feel like I'm, I feel fitter. I definitely feel fitter than when I started. Having said that, I just ate food, which was a bad idea. You don't eat food when you, before you do a CrossFit session. Five days to go. Let's kill it. <laughs> I guess you'd be here and right now. <laughs> Okay, we finished the first set, and now on to the Emon, my favorite part. It's raining. I can't see you, bye bye. I just did a snatch class, so I learned how to snatch, which is, I didn't even know what that word was before I started CrossFit. And it was really cool because I've been seeing people do it, and I'm like, I really want to do it, but it takes a lot of technique, and you can injure yourself. You don't do it right. So I did like a, cross, a CrossFit snatch class and they taught us how to do it. And now I pretty much know how to snatch, which is awesome. I learned that as well. I'm learning so many new things. It's awesome. Ah, I just finished a killer workout. I was in there for, it's now 12.30 and I got there at 10. So I was in there for two and a half hours, killing myself. I learned how to do snatch, which is like a CrossFit move that I'd never heard of before. I learned some kip handstand push-ups or something like that, which was fun with Axel. Man, I feel amazing. I might have felt amazing then, but here is me feeling absolutely exhausted. Okay, it is day 
29 of my 30 days of CrossFit. Oh my God, what a journey it's been. Wow. It's actually flying by, like it's gone really quickly. 30 days of CrossFit every single day, apart from the four days which I had to take off because I was sick, but then I added them on at the end, so it's obviously been a little bit more than 30 days, but I've got this on because I've just come from the surf, so I had to put sunscreen on. CrossFit really, really fucks you, huh? Wow. <gasps> Hello. Okay, today is my final day of my 30 days of CrossFit challenge. Ah, I feel so good. I feel amazing. I love that aspect of like mixing strength and speed, you know, strength and power. And it's been amazing to learn that actually you can mix the two. For me, that's like ideal. As someone who's muscular and strong, but also super fit and can run an Ironman. So this is me at the end of my 30 days of training. And so that means that my 30 days of CrossFit challenge is officially complete. This is my current form. As I said before, I don't think I've gained too much muscle mass, but I definitely feel a lot fitter. There we go, that's how I look after my 30 days. There were days when I didn't want to get out of bed, 100%. There were days when it was raining, it was cold. I woke up late, I was tired and exhausted from the day before, I was sore, and I pushed through, and I, and I, and I got up, and I had a shower, and, and I made my way to the gym, and, and I pushed through another session. And every time, I'm so grateful that I did it. I feel really proud of myself for completing this challenge. It feels like I've come so far and I've learned so much, so many different moves, so many different techniques, so many different concepts and a different understanding of, of just fitness in general. As strong and as fit as you become, the exercises just get harder and heavier and more lengthy and more challenging. So you never escape the challenge of it. It's always a huge effort and absolutely exhausting. I've come to, to love it. I've, I've learned to love the process and love the challenge and I've come to really enjoy putting my body through this strenuous exercise, see how hard I can go and how far I can go and how fast I can go. And then, and then you can go and eat amazing food, enjoy the rest of the day knowing that you've, you know, you've really earned it. And it might not be having to go to the gym every day, but I, every day I feel like I have to do some sort of physical activity, some sort of CrossFit style training. Going forward, I don't want to stop it because I've enjoyed it so much. I might not do every single day because I actually think and I've learned that it, it also is important to give yourself a break. But I'll definitely continue with my, my CrossFit training 100%. I've found this newfound passion and love for it. As with everything in life, it's a whole different thing when you really experience it in person. So, I mean, there's as much as I can try and tell you about my experience, I think you individually going out there and experiencing it yourself, I would say 100% throw it down, get down there, give it a shot, see what it's like, see what it's about, and just commit. It doesn't have to be 30 days. It could be one week, seven days. Set your own challenge. It doesn't have to be 30 days. It can be whatever works for you in your own life. Just giving it a shot and, and seeing how you feel because one of the big lessons I've learned is that there's something to be said for getting out of your comfort zone and just pushing through the barrier and the challenge that is ahead of you. I feel like life happens at the end of your comfort zone. It's a wonderful quote that really resonates with me and I feel like is a fundamental pillar about what I want these weekly videos to be about. I honestly believe that is when the most learning and growth happens is when we step outside our comfort zone and we break past the, the comfort barriers that exist in all of our lives. And I know from experience and from all the inspiration and the people I've watched and the stuff I've learned is that it, it is completely true when people say amazing things happen on the other side of fear.
100%. On the other side of our comfort zone, this is when life happens. So I would also so love to hear your journeys and how it goes for you. And thank you so much for getting this far into the video and I really appreciate you guys sticking through with it. As always, if you enjoyed the video and if you felt like you learned something, it would mean the world to me if you can share it, like it, comment, do all that stuff. That's wonderful. And I can't wait to share it with you my next weekly video next Thursday. See you next week. So just sit with me Talking through the night and through the